To no surprise, venison, as well as other wild game, is regarded as the highest quality food you can generally consume. Initially, on Frankie's Sea Range Meat, you know, we wanted to focus more on wild game before realizing how expensive and unrealistic that was. Nevertheless, I have an abundance of viewers who have always been curious about it, as well as plenty of avid hunters chowing down on venison for many months out of the year. Recently, venison came back in season at one of the farms we source our meat from, and after trying it, I realized that it would fit into my current diet perfectly. I've been focusing more on very lean meat, with carbohydrates as my predominant energy source. And trying to find leaner cuts of beef can be very difficult, but nearly all venison is as lean as it gets. You could get the leanest cut of beef and it will never be as lean as venison. So it's made my meals more convenient, especially over the past two weeks. First, let's briefly cover what our goal is by consuming muscle meat in general. I did a video titled, Why Meat is Healthy, where I cover this in great detail. But basically, we're getting large amounts of B vitamins, amino acids, protein to build muscle and maintain a good body composition, and those animal-favored minerals. What I mean by animal-favored minerals is zinc and iron predominantly, whereas copper, manganese, other minerals are not typically found in land ruminant meat. They are contained in plants or seafood. From an overall health perspective, this is by far the most important thing to do in your diet. It's very evident by anyone that goes carnivore for a period of time, just over several months, they feel better, their body composition improves drastically, both their minds and bodies are healing just by eating more muscle meat. And the other aspects of nutrient balance, such as mineral ratios and omega fatty acid intake are certainly necessary, but this is a great first step. It gets people to realize that what they do eat can impact how they feel, and then they explore more and more and more to the point they're comfortable doing so. So let's take a look at this venison while we talk about nutrition. Here are the two cuts of venison we're currently offering on Frankie's Range Meat. We have the rack of venison, as well as something that is much more affordable, which is the leg steak, and we're actually giving this away for free with orders over $100. So how does this venison compare to beef? If you do want specific numeric values, you should sign up for the email list on frank and I will send you guys a detailed comparison of that later. But overall, venison has a much more balanced B vitamin profile. It's higher in B2, it's higher in B6, which is very important for antioxidant cycles, and it's certainly safe to say that this B vitamin profile occurring in natural wild game is better for the body than a more modern grass-fed cow. For the minerals, the only significant difference we see is that venison has a much more balanced zinc to copper ratio. Arguably, if you did a carnivore diet with only venison, you might not actually get iron overload because the amount of zinc is almost half and the amount of copper is doubled. All of these minerals relate greatly to what the animal was consuming and grazing on. So if the forage in the cow's diet is diverse enough, it may actually be similar to venison. What's more significant is what's not in the meat. On nutrient databases, I've seen more fluoride in beef, which can only mean that the water table is polluted to some degree and the cattle are drinking some polluted water. So we can imagine that a cow, regardless of whether they're grass fed or not, is much more likely to contain some type of pollutants in their flesh from our modern activities. And this is far less of a concern than pollutants in fish, which we covered some months ago, so much so that I still believe grass-fed beef is the healthiest meat to consume on a consistent basis. It's why I still eat a pound and a half, two pounds of it every day, despite not being carnivore. But it's definitely safe to say that venison will not contain as many negatives, whether it is those pollutants, antibiotic metabolites, anything plaguing modern soil. And there's certainly a reason that royal families and elites hunt for wild game. 
and they pay top dollar for these quality foods in many Michelin star restaurants throughout the world. And if you haven't seen videos about those Michelin star restaurants, they highlight wild game and wild plant foods as cores of their menu. And these people shell out, you know, $500 to $1,000 a night for dinner because they can afford it and they know what is the best to put in their bodies, what's naturally occurring in nature. However, you know, a high level chef brings it to, you know, a different type of meal than someone hunting in a forest and cooking it over a fire. Now, realistically, am I ever going to make the switch over to venison? Probably not, but in the meantime, it makes sense to me because it's very low in fat. So as long as I have access to it, I will be using it. I did a beef and barley stew recipe two weeks ago, and I've actually made that several times with uh, the venison rump steaks we have now. It turned out very tasty and easy to digest. My recommendation to most people is to just try some, see if you even like it, see if you, you can prepare it in a way that's enjoyable, and then you know, reach out to hunters in your local community, see if they can maybe hunt your tag for you, and the tag is you know, something you get from your state or local jurisdiction that allows you to hunt an animal. Um, if you have a friend or family member that does have venison that you shied away from in the past, you know, maybe this is a chance to incorporate it into your diet. Generally, the time investment and money needed to get started hunting is far more costly than purchasing the meat yourself. So it's not really something that I was looking to pursue, especially in New York. If you do want to try the venison, we do have this available on Frankie's Your Age Meat. If you place an order for $100, you get to try the leg steak for free. So definitely check that out. Give us some feedback. And uh, hopefully sometime in the relatively near future, in the next two or three years, uh, we're able to purchase some land and raise these animals ourselves because no one is really doing it in the United States on a large enough scale to make it reasonably affordable for people to get this high quality meat. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, hopefully this opens you up to you know, whatever foods you might have access to in your local community that you didn't try before and uh, we can all be a little bit happier and a little bit healthier. Uh, so if you could please leave a comment down below, drop a like on the video, uh, click that notification bell so you know when I go live. As I mentioned earlier, sign up for that email newsletter on frank stefanocom and I will send out uh, the comparison of the vitamin and mineral profile in venison versus beef later. So thanks again for joining me guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow's video.